day three, Scotland. This is Saturday, there's no drift day today. It's like midday, what is it? It's 1 p.m. already? Yes, yeah, one minute to one. And we're just out on a cruise, on a drive. We're going to some national park near Glasgow just to check out the scenery and all the area. Raza's whipping today. Whizzing. Whizzing. We did a, a nice uh, pull with this micro. Yeah. <laughs> A pull, a pull to 60 miles an hour. It took us about um, half a minute, maybe. <laughs> probably a whole minute. <laughs> probably a whole minute. Um, but yeah, just essentially, I don't think there's going to be much more today than just like scenic, beautiful things. Uh, we're going to probably end up in Edinburgh eventually, like towards the end of the day. See if we can spot some cool cars, see, if, see about nightlife, imagine. Uh, this is the idea so far anyway, we'll see how that goes. the road with car noise as usual <laughs> but the point is we found this beautiful little lake situation let's see it's called Len Lennox town either way this is this is the town <laughs> Whitefield Pond look at that so this is where we are and the best thing is as well as all the cute little ducks and swans you have a beautiful mountain in the background look at this This is the kind of holiday we need. Go drift, destroy some cars, and then go look at this beautiful scenery. So worth it. Let me tell you this. The older you do get, the more rules you're gonna try to get you to follow. <laughs> you just gotta keep living, man. L-I-V-I-N. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't actually know what it's called, obviously. Ab Aberfoyle, maybe? I'm not sure. Either way, we're, uh, we're on the search of, for some food. I think the high street was that way. Yeah, it's raining a little bit right now. Still beautiful. These roads are actually artwork. They're, and they're fucking endless. Like, literally, we haven't... Like, we've just been on, on beautiful, sick roads with, like, farm animals and mental scenery for the last, like, hour and a half or something so good we switched drivers at that lake we're just cruising along i think that coming up is like a proper proper sexy yeah, proper like road. road up to the national like through into the national park somewhere yeah we'll see what we can do about food because it's like 230 something like that now 245. 245 wow i took a wild guess i'm not gonna lie what did you find <laughs> An FC, white FC in there. Jeez. You found it to be fair. Well, but, yeah. I bought it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> they had another one too. Yeah. We could have been matching. Yeah. And it's then. So sick though, like the middle of a national, a national park yeah. in Scotland. Yeah. This is it. With this sexy postcard. Beautiful. And a yeah, yeah. We did actually just tour the whole town, which uh, which is about maybe five minutes together. We basically took a lap. Uh, there's a few food places, but we couldn't find anything other than this pub spot. I mean, there's fish and chips, but not into that right now. So we're going to go sit at the local pub and uh, they probably have some fresh local beef. So that's probably what we're going to go for. I'm going to see what the menu is like. I might go for beef as well, to be fair, because it's a good shout. -out. Lunch done. We are fed and we are chilling, waiting for the waitress to bring the bill and we're going to make our way to the nice road. Exciting times, yeah? Oh yeah, please. Why was I rushing this clip? We forgot to mention how sick the lunch was, bro. These burgers were like from a render in a video game and they also tasted like actual meat instead of, like, I don't know. When I make burgers at home, they just don't, they don't do it right. Like this. It's obviously not my method, innit? It's the actual beef. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we both got the same beef burger with Mon Monte Monterey Jack cheese. Monterey Jack cheese, yeah. That cheese was nice. Uh, I had double tomato because Raza doesn't like tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, totally worth it. Homemade coleslaw, some sauce thing. The fries were nice. Yeah, everything Pretty banging. Definitely worth it. If you're ever out here, whatever the fuck this is, <laughs> come and get lunch here, it's sick. What is it, Abba? I can't really read. Abba? Abba foil. Yeah. It's the yeah, pub across Abba. the... Abba foil, yeah. Abba foil. The pub across the uh, fire station. That's where we are. Very nice. Look at this. As the rain persists, we don't actually care, because this is beautiful. 
Again, we're on the side of the road. However, audio peak, very nice. <laughs> However, this road is worth it. We just drove from up that way. I can actually stand right in the middle because this is not a busy road. We, we came from all the way up there. We basically did a downhill section and it's literally a toge road, a real life toge road. And um, I think Raza, maybe if you want to drive the other way, just for yeah, fun. Uphill. Up, yeah, maybe it'll be uphill, no, but. You can drive all the way around and I can drive the rest of the Yeah? Oh, bro, I'm so gassed. There's a fat circle. <laughs> That's the best. Yeah. It's like a fucking Forza road. Yeah, literally a lake with some beautiful like lakeside house. Uh, perfect pavement. Like, look at this. This is like brand new. Perfect road markings and just, not so many cars. Like, obviously, I'm not gonna lie, as soon as I started filming, there's bare cars now. You know, before yeah. that, there was nothing. It's five o'clock. Oh, rush hour. Rush hour. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I'm like speechless about this road. Like, someone lives here. Someone. Yeah. Up the road, there's a house just by itself, and there's a driveway, and yeah. someone just lives there. And a fat so, garden. A fat garden. And literally, like, just, I was losing my mind driving the roads, and then, like, it was a perfect road and then there was just this random sexy beautiful little house with a driveway in this fat garden and like they had some conservatory thing with like yeah. fat leather sofas yeah, looking yeah, all yeah. sexy and shit imagine like ha like when you leave your house like you have to drive this road if you want to get anywhere and like that's like you exit your house and you get this like what <laughs> yeah that's too good man Yo. <laughs> Yo, so this is the setup. Obviously, we had to get like a holiday fur and the micro is chilling right there in front of this castle looking building. So we had to create, obviously get some mossy rock from your local wall, <laughs> put it underneath the lens and do the 10 second timer 10 thing. Second timer. Bless. It might have been like 15 seconds. It was quite long to be done. Yeah, the first yeah. time you <laughs> fall over <and> ran. <laughs> I was going for it. I said, no, I don't want to miss it. But we had so much time. Yeah, we so. did it. It was sick. We did a couple different versions. Hopefully, uh, both of them come out. But yeah, this is sick camera. We got the film. It's coming through, man. The whole setup. Yeah. Exciting times. The the micro is making it. You know, it's uh, it's struggling. Oh, look at them. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> they obviously had to be on a vlog. You know.
So, we have uh, returned back to the lunchtime town, lunchtime, lunch town spot. The micro is, you know, it's, it can use some love, but basically we wanted to show the problem that we're actually facing. If you look here, yeah, this is covered in oil. The point is, the oil comes out of the top of the engine and coats the front of the engine where all of the belts and pulleys are. If you look actually through here, if you look as well, there's some like not OEM gasketing going on. All of that shit is just getting covered in oil and it's slipping the belt. Oh, timing cover. Yeah, see, there you go. That makes even more sense. But yeah, so it's not happy. Off of the belt. I run my hand along the belt. Bro, that's oil. Yeah. Yeah, so that's fucked. It's basically cutting out power because the belt slips and the battery isn't getting charged, so it pulls power. So like if you're actually trying to push the car, it just falls on its face every time. It's like traction control, but way harsher. So yeah, this thing is not okay. But it is actually getting us from A to B, so it's cool. Boys and girls, you're joining us, okay? From, we're literally in the middle of Edinburgh somewhere. I don't actually know this town, so I couldn't tell you. I hope you can see me. Firstly, I'm behind some fence right next to, it's probably way too dark for you to see, but there is a um, statue. It's like 3 a.m. because basically for some reason we decided to go out and like see what the club seen a saying at edinburgh because obviously we're out here on a saturday night so we have to check that out after the uh, the nice drive today right sir so vlog it's so dark no one can see anything so we can just get on with getting home so that's bless uh hashtag unbait let's uh get out of here uh day four welcome this is like 2 p.m <laughs> Yeah? Go yeah, come on. Um, we're in some park on in town, Edinburgh. We're in some park in Edinburgh. Uh, we're about to go explore. There is a castle that we're gonna go and see. So I'll probably film that. We went out last night, innit? So we had to we had to check the nightlife out as we were saying, but it's just a bad idea really. <laughs> yeah, we got home at like 4 a.m. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really a nightlife kind of guy. Well, not, neither is Raza. <laughs> um, but we were like, okay, might as well try it. We were supposed to go to a bar, but there was no fucking bars. No bars. We, ended up in a nightclub. we ended up in a nightclub, yeah. But that's kind of where we were gonna end up anyway, yeah. realistically. Um, yeah, the, nightclub is, the first nightclub is self at the start. Yeah, I think that the fact we hopped nightclubs was a mistake. Yeah. We should have, yeah, we should have stayed in the first club. But I think the main point is that Edinburgh nightlife is just not as sick as Brighton nightlife, you know? Brighton is just lit. We had a, we had a little, we had a little subway for breakfast. Obviously, Lipton peach iced tea. This is the go-to drink. Um, this, we've actually set up a scrap appointment for the little micro. It's all the way over there, if you look. Yes. So this is another thing you're going to be seeing in this video. The micro getting scrapped. Exciting times. Good, good riddance, exactly. Yo, we made it to the castle. Obviously, your local kilt shop. Look at this thing. Damn. Mud. Sexy castle thing, huh? Sexy. Should we 
do a UK costume for Go to every single costume in the UK. I'm down. That's this is this can be the fucking start. This can be a start. Oh, we went to the one in Eastbourne the other day. We did. Exactly. How many castles do you think there are in the in the UK? Hundreds. Hundreds. Yeah. Bless. Let's go. I'm down. That could be like a bucket list thing. Yeah, every single castle in the UK. Yeah, boom. Well, we made it to the castle. I guess we're gonna try and go up there. Yeah. See what we can see. I want to take a picture from the other side. Yeah. Stuff in here is everything's on the other side. I think the other side is looks the same, my guy. Really? Yeah, I was looking at it. Yeah, oh shit, imagine we park here. This guy would be f mate. Parking stuff. I was gonna park it, I was gonna park it around the corner. <laughs> We parked in a single yellow, so that should be blessed. Ooh, look at this castle. It's kind of cute. We fucking made it. Yeah. We're trying to find a good spot where you can see the castle from far away and like in its whole glory and us as well to get it on, on this camera. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking for right now. Obviously, up here, it's not exactly the place for that, but it is a sexy view. Uh, we were just standing on that wall there and you can kind of see the whole of Edinburgh, I guess. Kind of like Brighton, yeah. Not exactly though. Not exactly. I feel like this is way more old school than Brighton. Oh, one million trillion percent. I'm talking about the countryside or stuff like this not being too far away. Because we're in the south now. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we tried to come here to find some more steps to go around, but it's not this way. We might have to go back from where we came. Search for a good photo spot continues. Kind of beautiful. This is what you see, and then behind is the castle. Pretty sexy. I love all the cobbled roads. To be honest, reminds me of reminds me of Plovdiv back in Bulgaria, where I'm from. It's kind of sick. Good vibes. You're doing it right, man. You know. Yeah, oh yeah. Woo! With the spoiler. Damn. Well, we have made it to. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it still, Porcupine. Tesco. Porcupine, yeah, there you go. Uh, Tesco parking lot, uh, as you can see. We whipped it <laughs> all the way from town. If it was cutting out like a bitch. It's fully dead now, it's time for it to go. Yeah, it's, it's time for it to get scrapped and um, we just We were just on the phone to the scrap man. He's here. He's about to pull up and take this thing away and hopefully give us a good chunk of money because it'll be nice. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if this is him now, but I don't know how. <laughs> this guy, this guy literally offered 50 quid. That's crazy. He gave us a good strap though. He did give us a good strap. This micro, can I get the key? I wanted to show the dash. Cause it's kind of sick. Like we literally, we've literally, like I reset the Odo when we left and we've basically done 500 miles and we paid 500 quid for it. Innit? So. It's not that bad, realistically, whatever we get for it. Obviously, we're not taking 50 quid. That's just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, Thank you. thanks. I don't know, 50 quid is just a joke. <laughs> but ap apparently, it's not what we think. Apparently, it's not the um, oil leak onto the pulleys. It's a timing chain issue where the tension is stretching. Remember I said the timing cover is where it's leaking from as well. Yeah. So it makes sense. So it probably is that then. It's probably the timing chain is all fucking stretched and fucked. Trash little car. But... We're gonna get rid of it anyway, so it's fine. Fuck it. All right, well, see you later, Micra. The dude in that van behind there just came up. He gave us a hundred quid for it. And he said that that's the most he can do. And that's basically our last option at this point because we've got like, what, two hours until the flight now? Um, so we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go into the Tesco, get some food, chill, and then make the way to the airport. That's the guy. Yeah, he gave us uh, five, Scottish 20 pound notes, very fresh, very nice. So, in the grand scheme of things, that little shit, 500 miles, 400 quid, split between us for four days of Scotland life. Pretty worth it. Anyway, let's get to the airport. All right, we have made it to the airport. We're in a cute little staircase, nice and sunny. We're just, uh, just looking for a spot to chill, you know? Oh well, yeah, look at that. Edinburgh Airport. We're here, we took the bus. The bus took like way too long to get to us, but I think that I've just forgotten what it's like to take buses. So that's probably it. We have, what is it? Two hours until the flight. Uh, we'll probably go through security in like an hour or so. What is this, bruv? Okay, so look, we're at the airport, all right? We're at our gate and 
we're just waiting because it's like getting long, you know. Like we're here on time, yeah. you know. What was it nine, uh, seven fifteen? We were here way before seven fifteen. Yeah, seven fifteen. The gate was supposed to close. We were here like way before that. We were here like seven o'clock, um, like at the gate itself. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then it's like seven thirty-five, and it's nothing's happening. So then you check and then you go up to the screen. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, it's cool. Maybe it's just a small delay. And then what is it? What, what time is this supposed to fly on? Supposed to fly on nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Estimated. Estimated. And we've read it for you. If there's any compensation or anything like that, yeah. <laughs> to see. So I thought we'd get a refund. I'm not gonna lie. That's what I'm thinking. For some money off. But something. We get nothing. It says the um, flight has to be delayed for more than two hours. And if you deliver more than two hours, you get a free pound voucher. And that's such a park, a free pound voucher. Bro, that's such a waste. We've just been fucked by an airplane company. The airplane. You have to spend it on the plane. The free pound voucher. What the fuck? So basically, what can you even plane. get for free quid on a plane? Nothing. I just fucking bought a water. A water, yeah. Thanks. I guess we're stuck here. And we've checked in and everything. There's past security. You can't go out. You can't do anything. I guess we're waiting. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what's the time exactly? Hey, 9 9.08. 9.08. 9.08. 9.08. We got Krispy Kremes. I got a burrito. But we're about to get on the plane and uh, get back to England. We're at the... No, nah, Platform 7 is that way. I have to go the other way. Anyway, train station. We've landed from the airport. We're at the airport train station. We landed with the plane. Flight was blessed. Uh, and we're leaving now, so this is the official vlog goodbye. Say okay. it was good chilling, good time. Uh, but yeah, thank you, and we'll catch you later.